was Gucci. I'm not my glasses, I can tell you that. You know, online there are some things that are very deceptive. Things aren't always what they may seem. Today we're gonna be checking out some stuff that look photoshopped but aren't. So you know what's real and fake in your life. I looked long and hard at this for a good 10 minutes. And I'm like, mm, no way, no way this could be a real building. But it is, I have to find other pictures. See this picture, I'll explain to you in a sec. But this is a real building, 100% legit building. So you know at the mall when they're doing construction and they have like a backdrop or like those cardboard walls over the store while they're renovating it? That's what they did here. Except they made it all woobly. It's not the actual architecture, it's just a picture on top of the building. This can't, can't be real. It's a real building. It's a real photo on top of the building, but it ain't a real building. Is that a fly wearing glasses? Yes. Yes, indeed it is. So somebody made the world's smallest glasses and put them on a fly to show how damn small they are and took a picture. <laughs> Come on, man. I know that sounds like a stretch, but look it up. It's legit. Look at him. They don't even fit. My eyes are over here. Is my man even alive? I think he's dead. He's probably dead. Photoshop! There is no way, no way in heck that these trees are legit. Unless somebody took a chainsaw in a helicopter and just like went slicing all the tops off. How does this even happen? How are all of them so flat up there? Man, we only like thick trees. All right, this is another like illusion picture of this girl and her friend. The one with brown hair is holding a mirror so that her face reflects and then the other one takes a picture. Or wait, no, is she standing behind it? I don't know. There's a mirror involved. Two girls, one mirror. That's all I can explain. Oh my God, top 10 Instagram locations. Y'all wanna know what this is? It's salt. The only thing salty about this pic is I'm salty, I'm not there. A vacation like this, please. So this is called the panic room. It's a French hotel where exactly half of the room is completely white and then the other half is just crazy graffiti like all over the room, all over the walls, all over the bed. I mean, how they do that? You know, they probably just taped off half of the room. Here's 50 bucks, go crazy. Art. It ain't even real mice. It's just like a art installment. So she like trying to hide the cheese, but Ratatouille ain't having it. He like, nah. Hey, you better give me the cheese or I'm like, I'm a homie. When you look at this picture directly from the front, it says one plus one equals three. All right, somebody needs to go back to school when you fail math, but get an A in art. <laughs> but this is what it looks like from the side. It is literally a bunch of junk placed very, very strategically. And so when you look at it directly from the front, you got a one plus one equal three. Like it's so weird. It looks like they just like photoshopped all this stuff, but you see the ball. And the corner, you see it on the first pick, you see exactly where it is. Like the stuff is just lined up so perfectly. This is like blowing my mind right now. How they did the three is insane. Man, this is art. All right, so another thing that blows my mind. I was looking at these the other day, and I'm like, Wow. So it looks like a drawing of a car or like those futuristic like 3D car holograms or something. Like did Tron just illegally park in the middle of the street to go to McDonald's? I don't think so. So these are wire models of cars. What you see right here, all the lines, is not a drawing, it's not a hologram, it's wires to make it shaped like a 3D car. Alright, I guess when you find out it's wires, you look at it and you're like, hey, that is wires. But some of them look a lot more convincing. Like this one. Wait, is that the same car? Yeah, it's the same car, but at a different angle with different lighting. See, like when you look at this one, you're like, mm, what's this? Like, that can't be legit. Haters will say it's Photoshop. Man, haters will say anything is Photoshop. All right, this next one I thought was hella cool. It's a backpack that looks like it's just Photoshopped on. I had to like look up multiple pictures of this to make sure like who, what, how, where, why. How? Does it look like that? Like I get it, it's a backpack, she on her way to school. Like it looks like somebody just drew it in paint. Just like the colors are so flat. But this is a thing, this is a brand of bags that you can actually buy. Hashtag not sponsored! It looks a little more realistic in this picture. Like you could see all the different colors and like the textures that you could see it up close. But look at it, does it look fake? Man, Cyber Love is just a hater. Let that bag do its bagging. Look, a ton of people have that. It looks 
looks like a PNG image, you just drag them to Photoshop, put it in a random picture. But people are actually carrying these bags. How can this be? They even make wallets. Why do they look like they straight out of Caillou? Why does lobster look like it's on the moon? Taking over a planet. And that's the galaxy in the solar system. Oh no, no, no. Y'all just got played by a lobster, okay? But you know what this really is? It's a lobster and a black bucket. What you see is the water droplets in the black bucket. Y'all thought this was some crazy picture, like a lobster on top of the world. Not in my solar system. The hell? See, when you first look at this, you're like, is that a chair? That is definitely a chair that somebody made out of that poor, poor tree. This is nature cruelty right here. They just carved a tree. I made a chair that ain't nobody even gonna sit on. Unless you got another chair to go up on that chair and then you could sit on that chair. Or maybe like a mini ladder. But basically you see the part of the tree that one of the legs is made of and then I think they just took wood from another tree and then finished the chair, okay? Y'all kill a mother nature for some art. Whoa! So much to look at. I like looking at it. <laughs> So this just looks like some beautiful art mosaic thing, but it's actually rice fields in China. Say, what? Rice field? Why a pink though? We got pink rice? How nature do that? Like there's so many colors. It's so fancy. Where's the neon green coming from? I Man, look at that grass. So green looking like Fortnite grass. All right, so when you look at this forest, there is a clear line. Half the forest is red and dead, and the other half is like green and mean. <laughs> Like this seems so easy to Photoshop, like just put it in Photoshop, select the bottom half of the picture, change the hue, BAM! Make the internet go wild! But no, it was a chemical spill in Hungary. The chemical spill went that high up. Wait, how'd they get rid of it? You don't, do you just drain it? So it's iron oxide, the stuff that gives rust its color. Oh, so they usually have all that sludge in a reservoir and it just was like let loose. See, now you know, you learn something new every day here. <laughs> oh, what? So this is a black and white picture. There is no way this can be real. They had to have photoshopped something in it. Like that's the lake. But why is it black though? And the other side is all snow. But like the line that separates like the snowy land from the water is just insane. Like look at that, it's so perfect. And then we got the guy dressed in all black feeding all the white goose, geese, ducks. I'ma go with ducks. It's just so aesthetic. The ultimate Tumblr aesthetic. Man, what are you giving me that look for? Man, I, I don't like the way that tree just looked at me. So I have to look at this. I'm like, what's going on here? Why this tree got a face? Did they like shave it up? But it's actually a light, like a projector that's like projecting onto a tree and it creates a face. Over here you have an aerial view of a backyard that is flooded. I know, it sucks. But it's like when you look at it, you're like, oh, why that ground look so good? That ground look is smooth, but it's water. Dirty doo-doo water. Cause that whole backyard is flooded. Oh no, at least the pool is safe. Oh, we got another one of these. It looks like a face, but this one they actually shaved the tree to look like a face. All right, the other one was cheating. This one takes so much more skill to actually shave a tree. I know I heard of like shaving bushes to look like stuff, but I never seen someone shave a big tree. Is shave the proper term when you're referring to a tree or a bush? Or is it mow? Or is it cut? I don't know. Comment below if you know the answer. No matter how many times I look at this, it still blows my mind. Like, this is a sculpture in New Zealand, which a lot of people call the giant Kleenex tissue. Because it looks like a giant Kleenex tissue. But it looks like it's just drawn onto the sky. That's what makes it look so cool. But it's real, like people visit this thing and take pictures by it, and it's huge. Okay. This has got to be Photoshop. I am going to zoom the heck in. Wow, they're actually all different guys, I think. Man, what PS2 game was this? Everyone hella pixelated. But all these guys are marching in almost exact unison. It just looked like someone took one and then just stamped it all across the board. But it's like, how are they almost exactly the same? But that's the thing. It's real because it's almost exactly the same, but not quite 100% the same. Okay, 
Lil Billy over here trying to prove to the world that he can walk on water. But no, mom, she ain't buying it. Haters will say it's Photoshop, but no, it's just a perfectly timed picture. He was jumping into the water, and then whoever took that picture, they snapped it real quick before he fell in. So it only looks like he was walking on water. Same with this guy. Look at him. You literally cannot do that. Let's look all the rules of physics every single one you cannot ride a bike on water but it's just so perfectly timed right before he fell right in <laughs> it was stuck like falling into water but falling into water on a bike how <gasps> What is this? What is this beautiful dog, deer, gazelle creature? So this is actually an animal called a maned wolf. This is a type of wolf? I don't know, but look soft. I would pet it. What does it eat? I need to do my research on this. Maned wolf. Okay, the other pics aren't as cute. Very majestic out of 10. Over here we got a perfectly fine set of twisty railroad tracks. How they get twisty like that? So it makes you think, is this like a design flaw? You know, make the train ride a little short and fun? No, a earthquake did this. I don't believe it. Can an earthquake actually do that? Like make train tracks wobbly? I don't know, that's what the internet says. Can't believe everything on the internet, but you know what? I'm gonna give everybody the benefit of a doubt and say, okay, it's an earthquake. Uh, here we got a billboard. Man, why can't they do stuff like this in America? This is so smart. So the billboard is meant to look like that. Like they're ripping it off because it is for toothpaste that builds strong teeth. And ain't no stronger teeth than ripping off your own billboard. Okay, this is cool. I mean, you ruined a perfectly good mansion hallway, but it looks cool for like the first five seconds you look at it. So this is an art illusion in real life. Even though the walls are all like curved and stuff, the orange paint is so straight. It looks like somebody just put this in Photoshop and like changed the colors. Like it's so easy, it would take me two seconds. Like I can't believe this is real, come on. Even the window, now it makes me not want to believe it. I don't know, comment below, do you think this is real? Oh, this is so satisfying. How did you get a heart in the snow so perfect, so round? Like, oh baby, I see you, you look cute. That's a nice car too. Like, it's just the snow. They got the snow, they moved it out. But it still like drives me crazy how it's so incredibly perfect. You got a couple of melon heads. You know, just chilling, watching the game. But why would somebody take watermelons and just Photoshop them on the people's heads in front of you? I don't know. So they're actually helmets that they made from watermelons. I don't know why. Maybe they wanted the head to be like moist while they're watching the game. People into some crazy stuff, you know? Here we have a guy laying down with a very, 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 very tiny woman on his foot. Hey, you better put her down. <laughs> Do I smell? Photoshop? Nah, it's just another optical illusion to fool your mind. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one blew your mind the most. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and the face. And subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.